So I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the modern rec center. You know, the one with the booth, the merch booth, the one with the mirror room, the one with the cafeteria, and the one with the rec net board. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, what the heck? But before we had this, we had this. But how did Rack Room transition from this to this? Well, what if I told you in the files of some 2018 builds, there's an unused Rex in the design that shows what we could have gone between the locker room and today. Welcome to my time machine room. Yes, this is a real working time machine built with CV1 with the variable chip. Don't don't tell anyone, okay? That's my secret. It's the variable chip. It's the variable chip. So uh, yeah, uh, my time machine. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's set to the modern day, 2023-01-22. That's the current Rec Room version. But uh, as you can see, there's just this set version button here. And if I were to press it, uh, we can set our version that we want to go to. So uh, we're going to go to 2018, 05, 29, underscore, E, A. That exact version. Okay, so now that we have it set to 2018, you can see if it actually works. Now again, I haven't tested it so it can take us to May 2018, or it can send me to like 2016, you know? Well, only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go. D did it work? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. No way. It worked. Oh my god. It worked. I'm back in 2018. Oh my god. It just feels so different. Looks so different. Wow. Holy crap. I didn't expect this to work. I'm so happy. Oh my god. I've made a working time machine using variable chips. Okay, so now that we're here, how do we get to the Beta Rack Center, might ask? Well, it's easy. There's a secret code you have to enter in your watch, right? So I'm pretty sure it's in play. Search. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is the complicated part. It's a very, very, very long code. So, G U. Three zero P W E equals one five zero comma L O O L O. Okay, and then uh, all you do is you just press search three times. So that's three. And then all you do is you go through the rec center door. All right, now if this works, I'm gonna be surprised. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God, we're here. We're at the Beta Rec Center. Oh my God. I've only seen pictures of it. I've never actually been here. Oh my God, wow. Now you've already may have seen this design from a YouTuber called The Rec Room Vault. He's a huge inspiration for this video. And it's just like, we need to get a good tour of this place, man. So when you spawn in, you're greeted to your left with the video and GIF cameras. Now the video camera allows you to film a video. If I had that enabled, I have that same disabled and it just doesn't work. Or you can film a beautiful GIF. Uh, and on this table you got the water jug, a rec room staple, um, some discs and basketball, and of course the iconic bucket. Now to the right where you spawn in you got the vending machine. Now this, well, is works like the modern vending machine, you know, it gives you water. Now, okay, let's go back to the left over here. So you have some beautiful lockers, which don't have anything in them. And then you got the mirror. Now this is uh, a place for a mirror. It, it shows what you look like. You can see yourself, you can wave at yourself, you can cheer yourself. It's a mirror, I don't know what else to say. More lockers and a room door to a gym. But all that does is it brings up the play menu and just shows you what activities you can play. So paddle ball, rec royale. You got a bunch of chairs here. Kind of like the cafeteria area, but just way more simpler. You can't teleport into these and sit on them. They, they work as chairs, I don't know what else to say. And the merch booth, which is very prominent when you spawn in. And you have to be on the mat to buy things, but of course you can't buy anything here. Uh, and then you got like the weekly board and also like the board that shows the weekly challenges and the featured rooms everything like that and also the code of conduct now to the right of this we got the basketball court which is um a very simple one all right let's see if i can make this and 
then to the right of that, we got the theater department room. It's a very nice design, in my opinion. It's more open than the other one. It's way more seating. And overall, it's just better, in my opinion. And this shows you the quests. And for some reason, that happens. Now, if we go out here, we're going to go up there in a minute. But if we go over here, we got more seating, windows, and a door to high-intensity games. Which just brings up the normal play menu again. And then to the left of that, we got this more... Kind of chill area with some more chairs that you can sit in. Then you got a racket and some balls over here. You can play the one the one player tennis. Alright, see if we can do this. And then low intensity games, which again brings up the normal play menu. And now we go to upstairs. Now up here we got even more seating. There's so much, there's so many seats in here. We got more lockers, more seats right here with the only confetti pistol in the game. And then behind these chairs, we got three hot UGC doors, which, oh my God, this is a horrible system. I'm so glad they didn't go with this. Cause this only shows like, probably like the top three, like user created rooms. And then you go down here and uh, the tour basically just ends. But outside of this, we got some prototype designs. So this one is obviously very early. Like it has basically no texturing except for like the bricks, no nothing in here. So when you spawn in, you got, well, this booth over here where like you can go in and it's a very, a very, very tall area right here. So to the left of this, you got a big open area here, which I don't know what they're gonna put here. I'm gonna assume like probably like something to do with basketball maybe. Um, and then this corner, which I assume could be like the theater department corner, which I assume that cause it's dark in here. It's also like recessed. Now to the right of it, we got big windows, which I assume this could have like a bunch of chairs and everything in here. We also have these stairs here, which if we go up them shows this big area up here. Which is just kind of fun to be on. It's like you're just above anyone that's up here, waving down at them, showing them who's boss. So that's prototype number one. And then you got two more prototypes here, which is that one there and this one here. Now, this one here is pretty identical to the polish one that we saw, so like we're just gonna quickly go over it. The differences here is that there's these like supports here. Like that, that's really the big difference. The department's very empty. The stairs here are slopes, which are just placeholders. Yeah, everything about this is basically the same, so nothing really to see here. Now, here's another prototype design. So again, when you spawn in, you got, like, the merch booth, which would be right here. This area here, which I assume would be, like, the cafeteria area with seating. Don't know what could be here. More stairs. And then more overhang up here. Nice big window. More overhang. Stairs going down here. More windows and what could probably be the theater department here. Now, this one here is so unfinished that it doesn't even have proper collision. So that's why I'm shorter than usual here. But I'll get this one done quick. So you spawn in, nice big open area. What could probably be the theater department there. Probably basketball area there. Nothing here. They probably put the merch booth there later. No stairs to get up there except for right there. And then again, big open area here with nothing. And again, so unfinished that doesn't even have proper collision. And well, yeah, that's basically the prototype rec center designs. There's uh, many good ideas, many bad ideas, and uh, now I must say, I personally really like this design. It's just so different, so much more open than the modern one, but I see why they went with the one that we currently have today. Now, could they come back and re-release this one? Probably not. Now, how much time do we have left? Oh my, oh, oh my god, oh, oh, um, oh, oh, okay, okay, uh, play, top, uh, uh, dorm room, dorm, 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 where, where, where's the dorm room button? Where's the dorm room? Oh, dorm room. Oh, that was, that was a close one, but uh, now we need to get back, right? So now we need to type in another code. So if we just go here and type in the code, if I remember it's LQ83 equals hyphen square bracket uh, semicolon question mark L O L O. Right, yeah, I think that's the code and then it's search, search, search. And then all we have to do is go back through the rec center door. Uh, oh, 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 that was quite the fall. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. Yeah, so yeah, if you liked the video, 
hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, well then you can just also dislike it. I mean like, it doesn't matter, no one's gonna see it, right? If you really like the video, you can hit the subscribe button, or you can watch one of my other videos right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!